For those who experienced Bloody Tuesday firsthand, it's a memory that's etched in their minds forever. WVUA's Jennifer Edwards continues our team coverage of that historic day. It was a day that I, I'll never forget. I, uh, I'll never forget as long as I live. Roby Butler was just 19 years old on June 9th, 1964. He had plans to march to the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse on that Tuesday. It was really a, a, a trying time for us when it, that day rolled around. So it was pretty, pretty hectic. Butler says he remembers stepping outside of the first African Baptist Church and being stopped by Tuscaloosa police. He says after witnessing a group of ministers being arrested, he returned to the church to take cover. Minutes later, he says he heard the window shatter. I see this mass kind of explosion in this white come up. And I had never experienced before, and I tell you what, you never want to experience because that tear gas, when it hit, Everybody tried to scatter and it got in your eyes and, and people were crying and trying to stop it. I got a call so you need to get here quick. Reverend Thomas Linton owns the barber shop just down the street from the church. Not only did he play a key role in the civil rights movement, but many victims took shelter in his shop. When I got here, everywhere you can see, children were laying on, this, on the floor, sitting over here and Light in the wall, they're hollering and screaming, bleeding. Linton says, although we've come far in 50 years, there is still work to be done. We have to be warm. We have to be together. It's got to be warm. In Tuscaloosa, Jennifer Edwards, WVUA News. And Reverend Linton also worked side by side with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. during the Civil Rights Movement.